Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. So you have faced your fears. You have set your intentions to face fears and overcome circumstances, situations, and life challenges that you thought you would never make it through. What you did is you took a chance on yourself. You took a leap of faith on yourself. You actually stepped out into the waters like Neptune, Pisces um, energy to change your life. You saw that in the invisible realm, you had to go into the subconscious conscious realm in order to reprogram, change some of that dynamics that have been coming up as memories and pictures in your mind and in your heart, leading you to disastrous, chaotic situations. Well, I celebrate you today. I celebrate you and I let you know that you are not alone. Many, many people uh, in the world today are taking chances to step out on faith like Peter did and allow the spirit of God or the goddess to lead them into deeper understandings concerning the world. No longer are they afraid standing on the shore, watching other people at the beach go out into the deep, but they are going out into the deep, exploring places, things, and people that they've never known before. I commend you. And when I say Pisces or Neptune, I just want us to understand the elements of exploration because water elements lead us to deep understanding, deep understanding in the context of things that you've not touched before, giftings, callings, um, work explorations, things financially that you actually could tap into to make more money. And so the old things have to go in order for you to recognize that. Well, when you let go of the old things, what happened? What happens? Oh, well, we do. We experience fear. We experience feelings of depression. We experience anger. We even experience blaming others. But this is the day that you take your power back. And power is not that power that we exude in the world as our political leaders or as people that, you know, we've experienced that kind of like walked on other people's feelings and emotions or, um, you know, that kind of thing. Power is when you take time to really observe yourself your heart and what you want out of life. This is where power is because power is love. Wherever we can shed love and love is accepted, there is a power, but that first uh, shedding of love, meaning sharing is going to be with self. And so I was speaking with a, a dear friend of mine, a sister in spirit, and she was saying, I'm really about self love right now. And we all are, if we're tapping into spirit and the energy of spirit, we all are about self love right now. It doesn't mean that you're being selfish. It just means that you are working on you and you have to, when you decide to step out on faith, you've got to begin to work on your self love because faith means that there's a new level that you're going to. It doesn't mean that you're just stretching into something and you're hoping faith means that, look, we're reaching for new altitudes. We're reaching to go to, to new heights and depths in the spirit realm so that we can manifest new things out with the old and in with the new again. So when you go out with the old and you come in with the new in the middle is where you got to take care of yourself in the middle. There is a process to say, well, you know, I dealt with that fear and the responses and those reactions. But today I'm sitting down and I'm in my solitude to gain my strength within and my power again. And those things that maybe I gave away and I didn't know any better. Better, but it was a process that I would learn from and not be angry about it, but take on the mindset that I am a person of love and I am an empowerer, but I first empower myself to gather all of that power that the universe has to give me, that God has to give me. And then I launch out into um, more of the deep to see who's out there and begin to give them in the deep that understanding that they need to do self-love, self-care and not focus on everything I outside of ourselves, you see? And that's part of what the water element um, speaks of, you know, uh, those water elements like Pisces and 
um, Scorpio, um, they speak of the deep, you know, um, they speak of going deep. And what that means is, is when you go deep, you're going to find things, hidden treasures, that were laid up in darkness, things that you did not know. Even you're going to find shadow situations that needed to go and that were holding you up in the deep. And that's where the trueness of who you are begins to express itself. So this is a day of self-proclaiming. You know, you proclaim who you are and you hold on to that and you know that you're not alone and that you're going deeper and you know why you're going deeper because the water element gives you more understanding of who you are and you're able to change your programming in the water elements through the submerging of yourself within yourself through the inner spirit uh, meditation is the way prayer constantly speaking and thinking good constantly that means that if you uh, can't think good right now then you put on a video that's speaking good to you so that it can help you coach you on the way all right and so if you need any personal development um, help you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com I'm also on um, YouTube at Kim Warner. We have a women's group called I Am a Woman of Power. You can go to Facebook and request um, to be a part of that. Just put in I Am a Woman of Power and request a, um, you know, um, invite. And um, then also uh, we are inviting people of business, women of business and men of business. We want to integrate the uh, whole aspect, which is the male and the female archetype, because we're in a season of liberation. And that's what Uh, This self-proclaiming is about, this is what the search is about, that many people actually have taken the initiative to step out on faith and go into the deep and begin to look at other avenues of who they are or who they can be. The creation process of who you are is going to come and meet you. The power of creation is going to meet you there, right? And so with all of that being said, again, you can contact me at uh, my email and I'll put this in the uh, subscription box. Um, every Wednesday we have a shadow class and the shadow class is taking us into the deep. Um, the deep is necessary because we're discarding old information and we have target points through our natal chart that show us areas where we may have been abandoned, abused, um, misused, uh, where relationships may not work out for the process of understanding. So if you want to be a part of that, email me for information on that. And you guys have a wonderful day. I love you and be blessed.